Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of the third season of Everything Bit Sad from a Bitsian. Uh, let's kick off this uh, season with uh, a video about the off-campus uh, thesis program at Bits Pilani and of course in that's uh, that's applicable to all the three campuses. So uh, as you would have seen it, probably the title or the thumbnail that uh, uh, I was fortunate enough to be able to travel to uh, nine countries uh, as a Bitsy and as a student. So uh, let's just take a look at how uh, I was able to do that. So uh, just as a starting note, I want to emphasize that uh, I, I am I, like this video is not meant to be like a brag video. <laughs> Um, uh, I just want to uh, educate uh, about this possibility, this option and that you can exercise it in such a way. And also I want to emphasize again on the fact that it's just not me. There are many people who have done it and people uh, like some uh, people who have done it have probably ended up in more competitive colleges and uh, maybe uh, secured more funding than I am. So I by no means I'm trying to brag here like there are people who have done like way better stuff. Uh, than uh, me. Uh, for me personally, I did my off-campus thesis for one semester in uh, Paris, France and I also interned uh, for a summer in Hiroshima University in Japan. So that's kind of my background and I will go into more details. So basically you would think like how <laughs> nine countries these are just two. So the catch there is that uh, the visa uh, requirements for almost the entire Europe uh, is like you can travel to the entire Europe with just uh, the visa of one of the Shenzhen countries. So uh, I had uh, the visa for France, so I could travel to, uh, let's say, Germany, uh, Spain um, and Italy and all these other countries. So that's how the number nine came up to be. But the main idea behind it is uh, one thesis and uh, one internship. So. Coming to uh, the point again, so there are two ways as I mentioned. So one is like having the uh, international internships and the other is the off-campus thesis program. Now, uh, one thing I would like to mention right away is that um, directly the institute might not contribute much uh, to uh, the program itself. Uh, you have to actually, you know, uh, apply for these uh, internships yourself and you have to get them. Similarly, if you want to have an off-campus thesis, you uh, have to email the professors of a research lab and uh, uh, tr uh, get them to accept you. Uh, the job of the institute or the role that the institute plays here is that uh, they will allow you to basically they will basically count your credits uh, that you do for one semester abroad or off campus maybe even in India and they will uh, count it towards the completion of your degree. So that is the role that the where the flexibility of bits comes in and uh, uh, of course you will have the guidance of the people who have done it before you so that also is indirectly how the institute uh, plays a role in this so it's more about the flexibility that the institute is giving and the rest you have to sort of manage yourself how to do that uh, that's a separate question entirely it's a separate video maybe um, uh, and that can come later uh, obviously you don't need to know all the details right now this is something which happens in your final year so you will have three four years in college to figure this out so uh, going ahead with this uh, let me talk about the uh, way the degree is structured and the requirements are so uh, let's focus on the left side of the picture first which is a single degree side of things because it is a simpler model so uh, a single degree has let's say a one it has one slot so you would have heard about the practice school program the practice school too uh, that will probably be one of the videos in this season i have been meaning to cover it but i haven't been able to but um, so bits has a practice school program which people know as an industry internship for one semester so um, that can be uh, so practice school is not the only option for that semester you also have the thesis option so uh, uh, thesis mainly is like a research project you can imagine. So now you have these options like you have that one slot uh, with you as a single degree student and you can use it for a practice school or if you are more inclined towards research or masters then uh, you can have uh, a, you can you can take up a thesis right 
and that thesis can be on campus or off campus uh, depending on your preference like most of the people will prefer definitely off campus um, and uh, try to go either to like very reputed institutes in india like iisc tifr etc or they will prefer to go abroad um, now uh, the interesting part comes for the dual degree so a dual degree student will have two such slots right uh, and in those two slots uh, there can be uh, basically three combinations where uh, the default combination is one practice school and one thesis and this thesis is by default on campus um, there is an option of doing two practice schools and there is an option of doing two thesis as well um, i will cover the default option and the like double ps option in the upcoming ps videos because there are some placement related uh, uh, concerns there uh, similarly in the thesis plus thesis option uh, there are two ways to do this uh, one is that you can have two separate thesis like maybe one in uh, one research lab another one in another research lab you can have one on campus one off campus uh, or you can actually have one long thesis uh, for one entire year uh, so which gives you a very good uh, uh, research record like it, it gives you a very good track of a particular uh, project so these are the main options like these are the main variations uh, that are possible so uh, uh, there's a lot of flexibility as you can see now what are the advantages of this program why would anybody want to go for this program so the advantages are of course uh, like the immense exposure that you get to new cultures you meet new people make new friends and it's uh, it's absolutely incredible i would I, like there's a reason that it's the <laughs> first point above everything else uh, because uh, uh, while uh, at the time when i was in my final year and up to the final year from the first year itself i was like very much inclined towards research and uh, uh, going for higher education and all those things but as things played out um, uh, i ended up not going for uh, such a thing uh, so uh, but still like even though that uh, academic experience itself was not of much use but uh, the the other things the cultures uh, the friends and all those things they still stayed with me so um, that is i think as cliched as that sounds uh, i mean that's uh, uh, one of the main things uh, that i uh, that i found was the best uh, outcomes of uh, my thesis uh, apart from that of course uh, you are working on a project for 6 months or 1 year so you can expect a publication or research paper uh, don't worry about it if you don't understand what that actually means um, but basically it will help enhance your ms profile uh, you can imagine it like to be like i don't know like 10 times like a, re a publication as an undergraduate is a very good uh, indicator for getting a good ms profile apart from that uh, you can end up getting um, phd offers uh, like for example uh, uh, in europe at least so uh, this was the case with me so i was offered a phd uh, directly um, uh, after my uh, thesis project because the uh, professor had worked with me and he uh, he knew that i i would be able to take it up and i had exp i had worked with him for 5 or 6 months so he knew that i can take it forward and that 5 to 6 months can actually uh, you know shorten the duration of the phd itself uh, so i got that uh, like that offer is also something that happens uh, one of my very close friends he uh, ended up uh, doing a job search there locally so uh, he went, he was there in germany so he explored a little bit and um, uh, found a job in amsterdam uh, which is in the netherlands but uh, he traveled and it's it's actually much easier to uh, land international roles if you are there uh, so uh, that is something that people also take advantage of not just uh, my friend like there are other people who have also done this successfully uh, that is interviewing for positions while you are there on your thesis so this is again a very helpful option if if you have those kind of plans in mind uh financing so while this might sound expensive and uh, i agree uh, to some extent that it is um uh, there are some um, i would say silver linings uh, to this uh, which is uh, like uh, uh, if you if you end up doing a ps like this is a very particular detail there but uh, if you have seen the uh, fee video i have done um, uh, you you would notice that for for going to a practice school the ps2 
you have to pay uh, summer term fees because it it's the duration of the practice school is such that uh, you end up uh, covering one summer and one semester so for that uh, because of that reason you have to pay the summer term fee so that summer term fee uh, you don't end up paying uh, uh, if you are going for a thesis apart from that uh, mostly people get funded uh, by the host like whoever is the guiding professor so without funding anyway uh, it's not a good idea to go for a thesis because there are always chances of you being taken for granted by the professor because they might think of you as you know a uh, 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 cheap labor uh, instead of you know skilled uh, or experts in your field so if you are going for free uh, there is a chance i'm not saying that will happen but there is a chance that the uh, guide will probably give you some meaningless tasks of like entering data or you know some some kind of repetitive work but if they are paying you then they will try to get your money's worth of it and that's what you actually want so generally uh, there's no point anyway uh, if you're uh, to go for a off campus thesis if you are not funded so funding by the host is also a very uh, a good source of income and this is what uh, was my case as well um and then there is one uh, department for international collaborations uh, and international relations uh, in bits which is ipcd and they are uh, have a small amount of scholarship it will not be much uh, it will probably cover like uh, half of your uh, flight fare uh, one way flight fare uh, but it, something is better than nothing of course so these are the main things that uh, you can actually look at financing your uh, thesis so all in all it's a very good option to enhance your profile to get to explore uh, various parts of the world and do it while uh, you know you are actually uh, being paid uh, so i i feel this is a very good option and if somebody is inclined to Uh, get a job uh, internationally that is also possible uh, with this thesis so uh, apart from that the other thing uh, which is a smaller commitment and uh, is like 2 3 months kind of thing um, there are multiple internships uh, international internships so hiroshima university has a very good and very active uh, collaboration with bits pilani Uh, I'm not sure of the other campuses. Sorry for that, but uh, at least in Pilani, uh, every semester they take about uh, like take a few students. It's very competitive uh, and academically, it's very uh, academic, like CGPA and all uh, competitive. But uh, it's definitely there, and uh, uh, I was one of the people who uh, went via this program to Hiroshima University and worked there for two months. Uh, so. Uh, that is one of the ways and there are other similar mous uh, or uh, partnerships which are not as active but this one is particularly very active apart from that there are uh, central programs which are not necessarily uh, uh, like in partnership institutes kind of uh, you apply there uh, independently and uh, you can uh, you can get selected so uh, uh, uh these uh, the programs are listed and these are a, this is a very short list uh, but uh, if you uh, apply seriously for uh, international internships there are a lot many more uh, such programs so here again the guidance of your seniors and because there are every year every year there are people who uh, go into one of these internships and um, there will be enough guidance for you uh, to actually help you like how to write the cover letter how to shape your resume how to you know uh apply all in all like the overall process uh, and what what uh, programs are there what uh, is the list uh, of programs that you can apply to so all those things it's mainly about the guidance part this is the more of the um, alumni or you know the senior senior junior bonding kind of aspect um if the institute is not directly in an mou at least you have that uh, uh, going for it so these are the main ways um, and without delaying uh, or <laughs> without elongating this video too much i would like to end it here just wanted to give you a brief introduction to the possibility and uh, there are some limitations with placements and all that i will cover in a future video maybe the one related to the practice school system 
so with that thank you for joining thank you for your support on the channel and i'll see you next time bye bye